All right, so just a quick video on a internal power supply for a desktop computer. Now, what I plan on doing with this is using it to power uh, PlayStation 2 hard drives or Xbox 360 hard drives. Uh, depending on you know what you have, you can power it with this. Um, you know anything basically that takes five or twelve volts. Uh, the twelve volt would be your yellow wire on your Molex cable, and uh, Red is the 5 volt, so 12 volt, 5 volt, 2 grounds for each. So we'll go ahead and plug it in. Oh, it's upside down. And nothing happens. It's plugged in, nothing happens. There's no switch. And there's a reason for that. If you think about it, when you plug in your the power source to your desktop computer, your power supply does not run 24-7. It doesn't actually start running until either A, you flip a switch that's on the back, which, as you can tell, there is no switch. Um, or by pressing the power button on your desktop computer. Um, so we're going to be looking at the motherboard power supply, or the motherboard plug here. Um, and as you can see, I've already got my wire in there. So what we're looking for is the green wire. The green wire is the receiving wire that sends the... Pretend this is plugged into your motherboard. You push the button. It sends a signal through the green wire, through the power supply, back out through the black to the motherboard and uh, you know in return completes the circuit and you know that's where you uh, that's how it turns it on there so anyways what we're just gonna go ahead and do really quick as you can see I've already got it plugged into the green wire I recommend going there's a lot of black wires on here I recommend going to the farthest one away right next to the white so let me just set this down for two seconds here so as you can see I've got them both in there And there you have it. That is how you use a internal power supply as an external power supply to power. I mean, yeah, any hard drives. If you have the uh, Molex to SATA interface, you can you know connect it there. This is an older power supply, so obviously I can't connect SATA. But um, you know, with that adapter, I I can actually do that. So that is the video, just really quick. Um, Other than that, you know, you got a couple extra cables here if you're still interested in using a floppy disk for something, or you can just cut the cables and wire in a light or something. I don't know, but that's the video. I'm going to go ahead and stop it now. If you liked it, like the video. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, other than that, you know, make sure you subscribe.